Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and I think I'm in my midlife crisis because I'm starting to collect all my toys from when I was a child. The last video was with Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story, and now it's the Tracy Island from Thunderbirds. And I think more toys will follow up. Now the box seems to be in pretty good condition. That's pretty important when you collect something for the value. And the price was also pretty good, only 50 euros for the island, uh, all the airplanes and the batteries are included. Uh, I just had to drive to the Netherlands, so it was a pretty far drive. Anyway, I'm happy that I got it and I had the same island when I was a child, but there is one difference and that is this right here. You see, this island has a room in the back with all the pictures of the rescue team and they all have their original voices with different phrases. And even the Thunderbirds have sounds and voices. My set when I was a child didn't have that. All the rest should be the same as the set that I had. So let's open it up and let's see. Ta-da! Here it is. And it's in such beautiful condition. Normally a lot of sets have uh, broken palm trees or the leaves are missing or uh, the mechanism um, for the lift off is broken or the door or the uh, swimming pool is broken but not this one this one doesn't even have a mark on it even the stickers are in perfect condition unbelievable the dimensions of the island are 50 centimeters wide 20 centimeters high and 35 centimeters in depth. All right, let's take a closer look. Let's start exploring the back of the island. Now, this room right here, I didn't have that on my playset when I was a child. And it's such a beautiful room. Now, not only are there sounds, but also lights. Thunderbird 1, I'm on my way. Every second counts. Looks like a job for Thunderbird 2. This is International Rescue. Stand by for blast off. Thunderbird 3 to base. Standing by in Thunderbird 4. Parker, we are running out of time. International Rescue, Lady Penelope speaking. That would be very risky, Mr. Tracy. Mr. Tracy, I have an idea. And even the lights flicker when they speak, just like on the TV show. But I don't know if you can see it on camera. Mr. Tracy, I have an idea. International Rescue, Lady Penelope speaking. Let's investigate this dark hole here. Now, when we press this button right here, the door in the front opens automatically. But before the door opens, the palm trees fall down. And then the door slowly but surely opens. And then Thunderbird 2 can come out and play. <laughs> He's always stuck behind that door hinge. 
You see, if the palm trees didn't go down, you wouldn't be able to pass. And now we can go to the end of the runway. He will fall into place right in here. And then we can lift him up. And this platform right here also comes up. And here are the sounds and functions of Thunderbird 2. Now when we press the release button right here, the container will fall out and when we press this button and this button, the spring loaded stands will fall out. And then it reveals Thunderbird 4. Here you can see the size difference. This is 18 centimeters. This is about 10 and this is about five centimeters. And I also have the drill that can fit in here. Okay, let's explore the island a bit further, shall we? And here we have Thunderbird 3. Also with sounds, there's a little button here. And then of course Thunderbird 1 is in the swimming pool or under it. We can open up his wings and he also has sounds. The island itself has two AA batteries right here. And the Thunderbirds have three L41 batteries. I also have the pink car of Lady Penelope. Fab One, that's right, that was the name. And it also has sounds. Now the sounds are a bit off from the vehicles, I think. Uh, they are a bit on the low and slow side, but that's because the batteries are almost dead. I think they are still the original batteries inside. So yeah, I don't have such small batteries in my house, so I have to order them. Now all these Thunderbirds are made out of plastic um, and I think my old Thunderbirds were made out of die-cast metal but these are in much nicer condition. And that's because paint cannot hold that well onto die-cast metal. I know that from experience. Uh, you should watch my other videos when I'm painting my die-cast metal tanks. So I really hope you liked this video, if you did please hit me with a like and feel free to subscribe so you don't miss anything out, it's free so why the hell not? And you all have a nice day now, bye!